Okay, the official winner for this year goes to the person who moved to America only five years ago, Mr. Mario. In 2008, I left my family behind in a different country, and I'm a stranger in the United States with broken English, alone, scared, and completely broke. I turned it all around though, thanks to online marketing. My name is Mario Brown, and this is my story. You know, people want to tell me the American dream is broken. I don't, I don't think so. I came here with nothing, and I think if I can do it within one year, that you guys can do it too. So my mother was, has always been ever since I can remember, a heavy addict. And I see the bathroom door, I open up the door, and I walk forward, and I see her right there, leaning forward like that. In the arm, there was still the needle. My mother was addicted to heroin ever since I can remember. And I'm looking at the door, and uh, the policeman walks out with my mother, and she's in handcuffs, and he walks her to the car, and then he walks over to me, and I remember when he looks like down to me, and he said, um, I'm sorry, son, but I'm really not sure exactly what's going to happen to you right now. And I'm in front of a foster home. I remember the first day, they opened up the door, I walked in, all the kids were looking at me, pointing at me, and I started crying. They sent my mother to jail, and I virtually never met my dad. I just got off track, so things really didn't work out the way I wanted it to be. I struggled, and at some point I decided it's time for a change. And right now I'm in Ecuador, many years later. And there's a little girl, that maybe six, seven years old, she walks over to me with a little baby in her hands, all dirty. She asks me for a little bit of money. I give her some money, and for the first time I think, maybe my childhood wasn't even that bad. And in Ecuador is actually where I met my then girlfriend, now wife Maria. And I was backpacking a little bit, you know, and I was living there and after seven months, I was living there for seven months and I was running out of money. And I realized when I was checking the flight tickets that the cheapest ticket to the United States from Ecuador is actually Miami. And now I'm in Miami. I came with my backpack, 500 bucks to my name, broken English with my childhood. And the cheapest ticket from Ecuador to the United States was Miami. That's how I ended up in Miami. And that's how I got started. That's how, this is how I came to this country five years ago. After about two months, I had enough money saved up to buy a laptop. So I got a laptop and I, I felt like, you know what, I didn't come to the United States to waste my time. I want to do something more meaningful. So literally, when I opened it up and um, I opened up Google and I entered in Google in the search box, how to make money online. And that's really how my journey started when it comes to internet marketing and learning how to make a living selling products online and helping other people, teaching them um, via information products. That's where it all started for me. Well, the first first months when he was doing internet marketing, you know, he was buying just product after product and uh, there was no money coming in. I just had too many products, too much information. I started too many different journeys, but I didn't follow through on any. So I just didn't know what to do and I stopped believing in the whole concept of internet marketing. Then I learned about a huge internet marketing event in San Diego. Then one day on top of that he comes and says, you know honey, I want to go to this live event in San Diego. And I said, okay, um, you want to buy another product? How much is this one? And he said, it's $2,000. I couldn't believe it, you know, at that time we didn't have that kind of money. I had to go there. So I looked at my credit cards, you know, tried to save up some money, asked some friends, and eventually I actually got the money together. I bought the flight ticket, bought the ticket to the live event. I wasn't very supportive at that moment, but uh, at the end I saw his eyes and he really wanted to do it. You know, he felt like that was going to be the turning point for him and his business. Finally, I had the chance to meet people who were actually able to make it work people who succeeded with online marketing and just seeing in real life face to face talking with people who achieved success something in my mind just switched now i started believing i got back from the event all pumped up style, created my first info product put it out there and made actually my first sales 
Well, when we both came to the U.S., literally it's like the American dream, uh, or searching for the American dream story. Uh, he came first, and he was working in a night shift in a hotel as, as a front desk. So by the time I came here to visit him first, he was living in very this tiny uh, room. He was sharing it with some other people. And uh, I couldn't see myself there first of all, you know. Um, it was different from what I was used to. <laughs> One of my biggest goals right from the beginning was to quit my day job and to get out of the hotel and work for myself. And after a while, I was able to do just that and get out of there and I was done with it. And I was finally my own boss and nobody was telling me anymore what to do and when to do it. And at that point, I was wondering, wow, if I can make enough money to quit my day job, what else is possible out there? So I decided to invest in coaching. And then things really took off. He has developed his business in a way where we can literally be anywhere in the world and he can be working. You know, that allows us to travel more, to visit his family in Germany, to visit my family in Ecuador. And just it's a peace of mind knowing that you don't have to worry about bills that you have to pay at the end of the month or what's going to happen if you get sick and you have to go to the hospital. Just having that peace of mind and that freedom also that you can take vacations whenever you want or just be at your own pace when you want to work. And then I just never looked back. I created more information products and I started coaching programs. Now I'm invited all over the world to speak at big um, online marketing events and actually people flying in from all over the world to see me speak on stage and sharing my story, my experience and my knowledge with other people. So that's really what it's all about for me right now, you know, inspiring other people and helping them living a better life and making more money and, you know, living their dreams. We started a coaching process with Mario and within weeks we had clarity, we had focus and we had a product that was almost completed and ready to take to market. So before we met, I was at the ten dollars to $15,000 level a month. I had a roughly 4,000 person list, um, all customers. I started working with Mario uh, extensively. I, I invested heavily in the relationship and put a lot into it. Uh, over the first 12 months, I grew to maybe 15,000 buyers. Uh, my, my monthly revenue, it fluctuated between 30 and 50,000 a month. Uh, by the end of the year, I, I had not only hit a 50,000 month, I had built in essence, you know, I had an annual, had an annual gross revenue of over seven figures. Part of the reason why I went with coaching with, with Mario was to get the connections, but what I got was so much more. What I got was someone that expanded my mind of what I truly can do. And that's the reason why I have uh, Mario coach uh, me on a, on a monthly basis and keep me focused in on making more money and making a difference in the world. And that's what I truly want to do is make a difference in the world and truly help people. And um, I feel with uh, the interactions that I have with Mario, the personal interactions, he's helping me achieve my ultimate goal. His brilliant ideas was really like making a difference in my business all of a sudden. Like two years ago he was the newbie and then he's helping me. This was kind of cool. You know, working with Mario's given me a big insight into how I could improve my revenues for myself as well as using a lot of his products and knowledge to improve the revenue for my companies that I'm working with. It's really, uh, it's been great to have him as sort of like a, an advisor and a confidant and someone that, you know, will push me and, um, you know, sort of be there and, and I can tell he's really genuinely happy as well when I have success, you know, with it. So, yeah, it's, it's been great. I feel very proud, you know, because he's changing their lives and he's helping them with some different tools that allow these other people also to start their own business and change their lives and their family lifestyle. Now, looking back, it's really incredible what happened in just a couple of years. My mother has been clean for more than 15 years. She's supporting me with everything. We have a great relationship. And thanks to the business and the success in the business, I'm now able to fly to Germany and visit my family there. Thanks to the business, I was able to fly to North Carolina and meet, and meet my dad after 30 years for the first time in my life. Also right now, as my wife is from Ecuador, we are now having the chance to fly to Ecuador and visit her family and help her family there as well. And that's all really because of the success that I created in the business. And that came really once I started believing in myself 
taking massive imperfect action and creating the momentum that's necessary to change your life for the better. I came here with broken English. My, you heard about my childhood. You heard where I came from. I think if I can do it, guys, you can do it too. And with that being said, I'm grateful for being here. Thank you.